Hi, everybody. Welcome to our last day of short I. I'm so excited to finish this up with you and start on a new letter next week. So to start off, we know what to do. Let's make our short I with our mouths. Our teeth are apart, our lips are apart, and my tongue touches the bottom teeth. My lips are pulled back, but my jaw is relaxed. So say the sound with me. Eh, eh, eh. Check it one more time. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, as we're doing our short I words today, we're going to be doing a sort, just like we did yesterday. So we're going to decide if the word that I give you is a short I, eh, or if it's a different sound, like a, ah, eh, ah, or uh. So today I did a little bit differently. I actually wrote them on the text cards, and we're going to figure them out together and then sort them if it's a short I word or if it's a different word. Okay. Our first word is, sound that out and tell me the word. Sip, sip, very good. Is this a short I word or a different word? Let's roller coaster it. Sip, does it say I? Yes, okay, we'll put it by our short eyes. All right, our next word is, sound it out, b. Ah, d. Bad. Very good. Let's roller coaster it. B. Ah, d. Does that word say i? No, it's actually one of these vowels. It's a short a. So we'll put it over here. Our next word is. Sound it out. P. It. Pit. Very good. Let's roller coaster it. P. It. Is that a short i? I. Or a different sound? A short I. We'll put it over here with sip. Our next word, sound it out. Wa it. Wit. Very good. Let's roller coaster. Wa it. Is that short I? I. Or a different sound? Short I. Good job. So far we have three to one. Let's do our next word. F it. Fit. Very good. Let's roller coaster. Fit. Is that a short I? I? Or a different sound? Short I. Good job. All right. Here's our next one. N -i -p. Nip. N -i -p. Is that a short I? I? Or a different sound? Short I. Five to one. Let's do our next one. Lip, lip, lip. Is that a short I? I or a different sound? Short I. Lots of short I words today. All right, let's keep going. Sound it out. R a m ram. R a m. Does that say I or a different sound? A different sound. This is a short A word. Ah, mm. pan. Is that p ah, mm. short i i or a different sound? A different sound. That's another short a word. P ot pot p ot. Is that a short i i or a different sound? A different sound. That's a short o word. R a uh, n mm. run r a uh, n mm. is that short i i or a different sound a different sound that one is a short u I think we have three more z i p zip z i p is that i short i or a different sound short i Tip, t i p. Is that a short I or a different sound? Short I. Last one. R i g, rig. R i g. Is that short I, i or a different sound? Short I. 
Good job. All right, we ended up with nine for our short I and five for all our other words, so I is the winner. All right, I'll get this all cleaned up. As I'm getting this cleaned up, I want you to grab either a dry erase board or grab a piece of paper and a pencil because the next thing we're going to be doing is writing our words down. I'm going to be giving you a word and you're going to be spelling it with me. Now, I'm not going to be doing it on or with a marker or with a pencil. I'm not going to be spelling them, but I'm going to be using my uh, magnetic letters that we used yesterday. All right, I'll get all set up. Hmm. Okay. The first word we're going to build is the word dim. Let's do our roller coaster to chop it. D, I, M. Actually, you know what I just thought of? We can do a chopper to help us instead. So let's do it. Dim, D, I, M. Okay, what's that first sound I hear? D, D. Okay, can you find a D? You put a D on your paper. I'm going to put it right here. All right. D, I. Okay, I know that's a short I. We've been working on that all week. Okay. D, I, M. What says M? Mm? An M. Very good. So put an M on the end. All right. And we just spelled the word dim. D, I, M. Good. Okay. Now we're going to move on to our next word. You can erase if you're using a dry erase board, or you can move down to the next line. All right, our word is fig. Let's chop it. Fig. F -i -g. Okay, what do you hear first? I hear an F. F -i -i. I hear a short I. F -i -g -g. I hear a G. Right. All right. Did you spell F I G? F -i -g. Fig. Good job. All right, you may erase or move to the next line for our third word. Our third word is fin, like what sharks have or dolphins have. They have it on their backs. Fin. F -i -n. Okay, I hear f -f at the beginning. That's an F. Good. F -i -i. Short I. We know that one. F -i -n. What do you hear at the end? An N, very good. All right, F -i -n, fin, good job. Okay, our next word is gig, gig, g, i, g. Ooh, I heard two sounds, both of them the same at the beginning and at the end. So what is that sound? G, 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 g. So g, i, short I. G, 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 and a G at the end. Good job. G, I, G, gig. All right, moving right along. Our next word is him. Him. H, I, M. What do you hear at the beginning? H, good. H, I, I. Short I. H, I, M. What's at the end? An M. Good. H, I, M, him. Okay, our next word is his. Let me put these away real quick. Okay, his. His. H, I, S. We just use that one. H, I, I, I. Short I, S, S. It's his. Very good. All right, our next one is kin. Do you know what kin is? It's another name for your family. Kin. K -i -n. Now, kiddos get mixed up with this one sometimes because they don't know if it's a C or a K, but this one's actually a K, -k, -k. So let's find our K. You put a K down in your paper. K -i. Short I. I, n. What comes at the end? An N. Very good. K, I, N, kin. Good job. All right, our next one is lip. Let's do it. Lip. O, I, P. What sound do you hear at the beginning? O, 
L, very good. Put an L. O, I, short I. We're getting pretty good at that one. O, I, P. What comes at the end? A P, very good. O, I, P, lip. All right, our next one is nip. Oh, this is a rhyming word. This is the one we just did. Nip, lip. Okay, so let's do it. Nip, n, I, P. What comes first? And N, very good. N, and then I, I, short I, N, I, P. And a P at the end, good. N, I, P, nip. Our next word is rig, rig. Let's do it. Rig, r, I, G, r, r. <gasps> that one is an R. R, I, I, short I. G, G, and what's at the end? A G, very good. If I can get one out of here, there we go. R, I, G, rig. All right, here's our next one. This word is the word wit. Wit, wa, it. What do you hear at the beginning? Wa, wa, wa. W, I, I, short I. Wa, it. What comes at the end? A T, very good. W, it, wit. Good job. All right, here's our next one. Zip, 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 z, ip. What do you hear at the beginning? Z, a Z, one of my favorite letters. Z, i, i, short I. Z, ip, p, a P, very good. Z ip zip. All right, our next one is tip. This is a rhyming word with zip. A rhyming word with zip is tip. Let's do it together. Tip, t, ip, t, 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 t. a t, i, i, an i, a short i, t, ip, p, mm. a p. Tip. All right, you ready for our last one? This is also a rhyming word with um, zip and tip. Our word is sip. 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 You hear at the beginning. S. I. 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 Short I. P. 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 Sip. 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 Do you know what it means to sip? It means to take just a little bit of a drink to sip something. Nice job. Now, if you want to, you can send me a picture of your words that you've been doing with me. I love seeing when you show me your work. So you can send that to me over Google Classroom. Our last step today is we're going to be doing our sentences. So you can either turn your paper over or you can erase your board and get ready Whoa, for our sentences today. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say it and count how many words we have. So, our sentence is zip into the pit. Zip into the pit. Ooh, four of them today. Okay, let's go ahead and make our lines. Zip into the pit. Now, yesterday we did something to help us with our sentences. We did a capital mountain at the beginning to help us remember to capitalize our first letter in our sentence. And we also did a punctuation box at the end to remind us to put a period. Okay, now I forgot the sentence already, so let me peek at it. Okay, let's do it together. Zip into the pit. Okay, I'll give you just a moment for you to do it, and I'll do it on my board as well, and then we'll check together. Now don't let into trick you because into is a compound word, two words that are stuck together. So don't put a space in between those two words. Into is one word. All right, if you need more time, please pause. We have zip 
into the pit. I have a capital Z because that's the beginning of my sentence, and I have a period because it's the end of my sentence. All right, let's get ready for sentence number two today. And sentence number two is, sit in the pit to see the fig. Wow, let's do it together. Sit in the pit to see the fig. How many words do I have in that sentence? Eight. All right, let's count it down. Sit in the pit to see the fig. Whew. All right, remember my capital mountain at the beginning? I got to squeeze mine in there. And our punctuation box at the end. There it is. All right, and let's touch it and say it before we start writing. Sit in the pit to see the fig. Sit in the pit to see the fig. Okay, go ahead and write it on your board. All right, if you need more time, please pause. And here's our sentence. Sit in the pit to see the fig. Awesome job. All right, our last thing we're going to do today is read story number three. This is a brand new story for us, so make sure you're finding those short I words and read the story to someone around you.